good day everybody and welcome back to the Air Warfare Group. This is Juice. So today uh, was probably day three, but uh, we've been lately flying with LOT ATC, practicing uh, going through the motions of starting with ATIS information at Nellis, and then we connect over to ground, which hands us off to tower, and then we hand off to uh, center, um, actually uh, Las Vegas approach for our departure and uh, sometimes we talk to LA Center but we've been doing that all through lot ATC and one of the things that we were trying to figure out today uh, was how to get our AI uh, allied tankers and our allied AWACS to squawk their own code now as you can imagine when when you have an AI that's on the map and you send them up you can't call them and say hey we want you to squawk uh, 7533 or 7311 you can't tell them to do that because those AI guys are pretty dumb. And so you have to set this up in the mission editor prior to. So with the help of my de buddy Dan over at uh, Marine Corps Air, uh, Air Control 2, uh, Dan is a, uh, a FAA friend of mine that works for the FAA. He's also former Navy, uh, and he's a huge DCS fan too. And you may know who he is and stuff. Uh, between him and Takeda and I, we got on, both of those guys use LOT ATC client, and I only use it on the server side when I'm running the server uh, for our Air Warfare Group server. So uh, I got all three of us together. I went ahead and made the edits. We uploaded it to the central server at Takeda's house in Alabama, and once we got it uploaded, we went and tested it. And through a little bit of trial and error, I'll show you what we figured out. So <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description uh, to the LOT ATC page where you can get this information. Uh, it's not very clear exactly, so I think this will be a good example. Prior to doing this video, I looked on YouTube and in the DCS as much as I could to see if I could find any information on this, and I could not. Uh, I spent a good 15, 20 minutes looking in different uh, different search patterns on you on Google and also looking in the forum so if you guys find some other links and want to plug them into the description so other people could find them that'd be great so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click up here in the northeast corner and we're gonna click on AWACS our AWACS right now is wizard and what the instructions tell you to do is to put it in the name in the object name area well it really needs to go in what's called the pilot slot down here in the mission editor. So you've got at the top, I've got Wizard A uh, E3A AWACS, and then it's USA, and of course its task is to provide AWACS. Uh, it's an E3A as it's a veteran, and then it's got pilot number hashtag 26. That's the syntax that you have to follow is the hashtag syntax with the spacing. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear that out, and what we did for that is we went Wizard space hashtag and after the hashtag you do a colon and then what we did is we wanted to set the parameters to have mode 1 and mode 3 transponder mode mode 1 and mode 3 Charlie uh, show up so what we did is you go uh, equals or quotate uh, uh, let's see parentheses open parentheses that is one two because we want it to be one channel channel one two for the there he's going to be squawking in mode 1 and channel one two two digit code, close parentheses, and then we want to give it the four digit code and for AWACS we're using 7121. 7121. Uh, and then after that we want it to show up as friendly so we go FR for friendly. And then what we do is we save that and then before we uh, exit out to save the whole thing we're gonna go down here to this tanker which I believe is Arco. And yep, Arco is our boom tanker. This is the one we refuel the Vipers with and uh, Arco's name is going to go right here. So we're going to go Arco space hashtag and then his is going to be also open parentheses one two for the same channel for for the squawk code for uh, mode mode one and his individual code for mode two is going to be seven three three one and then FR for friendly. And then we'll close that out and the spook, Dan, he recommended not using seven series codes if you could avoid it. However, if you stay below 7,500, you're not going to accidentally squawk 75, 76, or 7,700 and trigger an emergency through your lot ATC system. So down here is Texaco. This is our Drogue uh, boom 
aircraft, uh, actually a strobe multiple point refueling system, MPRS. And he's at 20,000 feet, and this is Texaco. So we're going to go up and edit the pilot line. We're going to go Texaco space hashtag open parentheses, one, two, close parentheses. And this individual squawk code from mode C is 7220. 7220. Zero. Now on these squawk quotes in FR for friendly and then we're going to go over here and we're going to hit save on the whole mission. So when um, um, when you're doing this with the squawk codes uh, you'll want to avoid eights and nines in the squawk codes. It's uh, you'll, you'll want to make sure you stay within the parameters of a typical squawk code. It should kick it out if you try to put something in that's not right. Now I'm going to put a link to uh, the post from the LOT ATC page. Uh, also you're welcome to send me any questions through YouTube if you have any questions on uh, any clarifications for this. I hope it helps for the mission makers that want to integrate AI traffic and being able to have them show up with an actual squawk code. Uh, you can still track them, you can still see them and assign contact information in LOT ATC if they're not squawking this, but it's really more realistic if you have them set up so they're doing a Mode 3 Charlie uh, squawk if you set it up. And again, I hope this helps you mission makers out there and hope you guys with LOT ATC enjoy it. Talk to you later. Cheers.